Welcome everyone, it's Paper Strakemar. It's time for some more Great Shadow Legends. We are going to be continuing on our journey in the Doom Tower. Which is a... Uh, very long climb. Last time we destroyed Borgoth and this episode we're going to be continuing up this tower. It doesn't help that Half of the uh, people here are negative affinity, but we'll see what we can do. As them being negative affinity drastically reduces our damage in some regards. Because they don't get positive affinity until the end of this floor. It seems. Or neutral. Positive or neutral affinity until the end of the floor, it seems. But to be honest, I haven't fought Nethril or this version of the tower in actually quite a long time. So our job here is to get to floor 60. That is our job. The hard part of this is going to be getting higher than that. I still have to do a bunch of arena. And you're like, what, Vaber Smith? Are you feeling okay? Yes, I do. Because there is a mission to get a... A, uh... A tier 8 in arena. Like, in the Great Hall tier 8 great hall that's 800 arena medals that's a lot of arena medals if you really think about how much arena medals that is that's a lot so yeah I'm going after the long beard the long beard is a problem let's put that in there and see how it works Do that. Hit the Tomb Lord. Hit him some more. You really want to damage him. You above all want to get this Occult Brawler out, because he does have a block revive. Above all. Generally, you want to prioritize people with block revives, because they put your team in a very... 
awkward situation. Hello. <laughs> All right. Let's change it out a bit. Got to keep it going. Least Doom Priest. And frozen Keep it up. Gotta keep that pressure on. Keep it on those elves. Can't let the old Mary Dominion get away. Nope.
It ain't over. <laughs> it ain't over. I'm cheesing with the time compression on these Valkyries, and I know they respond to buffs, so I'm not even going to tempt their... Secret room. Spirit champs only, eh? bit of a pickle with that spirit champs only do we got any spirit revive of course we do well that's where I have to go help out Melga if that doesn't work Let's see if we can beat it. Oh no, why does there have to be a duchess in this? Why? Okay, we got the duchess out of the equation. Uh, of course they get provoked. So, in order for this to work, get that going with that. Okay, we're not actually in that bad shape. I'll take it. Secret room six down. Outrider and Cleopteryx beast moding it. Tower. Uh, 
I assure you the secrets So four thirty. I mean... This is not going to be as easy as it looks because of the stupid thing, the fact that affinity matters. That is going to affect this. what I thought. Whack these kales. Now I just have to somehow kill this Fergus somehow. Which sounds easy to do, but in reality is anything but. Because Virgus is phenomenally difficult to kill. He's well known for it. Like a lot of high elf defense champions, both in Raid and Elder Scrolls. He's known to be notoriously difficult to deal with. Uh, 
there we go floor 57 458 uh, and then hopefully I mean Oh no, I just realized they have Mashald. Oh, that's bad. That is so bad. That is so bloody bad. That they had the Mashald. I didn't even realize that. Good thing I focused them down. Because Mashald is extremely scary, by the way. I want to point that out. In case anyone was thinking he isn't scary. He is quite scary. I... I'm not 100% sure of his weaknesses either, because I don't own one. Other than getting focused down, because he... Especially in Doom Tower, he does seem to be, in the earlier levels, squishy. Although it could backfire on me later, that philosophy. Mashald, in general, is very difficult to deal with. Unless you're able to focus him down before his true fears get established. Now, if you have an Inquisitor Shamel... You can ignore all of this because Inquisitor Shamel allows you to completely ignore the fears of Mashald and fight him like a normal opponent. Do I have, as I get some energy fuel, which is nice, do I have such an Inquisitor? No. And that's part of the problem. I don't have one. That's going to be a menace. Oh. Gotta clear out these Shazars and them being a nuisance. Clear out as many of these as you can. You don't really want the Shazars to take a turn because the Shazars smack like a truck and put bombs on you and that generally is very painful case in point that's gonna hurt Got him. All right, Nether Speeder. I guess there's this team comp, but there's other team comps you can make. Um, we're going to try one with Drax. Uh, Kale can be preferred in here due to his affinity. Um, 
generally speaking, you're going to want either someone durable with burns or a positive affinity damage dealer to deal with this boss. Um, dealing with uh, Candrophon is always really scary. Except when the Candrophon has a remarkably low amount of health and low amount of damage more importantly because Candorphon normally smacks like an absolute cannon okay so the core of this is that all of that cleanse the poison see and he gets burns on himself right now I will show other teams later, but I'm tired tonight, so I'm just going to show general nether spider incineration method. You don't really want that poison lingering too much and generally speaking you want to keep the main damage on the spider itself and let the burns that it inflicts on the spider lings over here see Generally, that's how you want it to work. Especially when you have a negative affinity like Drex. Because it's harder to get burns on there. And the burns do more effect on it than just lashing that. And as it builds that up, then we cleanse that. And then we have the burns affecting the rest of the spider. You see? And that is what wrecks it. The main thing, though, is not to affect the spiderlings with the counterattack. Because the key with that is to keep the burns up on the spider 100% uptime. That's the key with this. Keep those burns and that damage flowing under the main spider and ignoring the spiderlings because as they attack the spiderlings they keep the burn. Cleanse is pretty much mandatory. If you didn't need cleanse before you need it now because Otherwise, the speeder takes over. So that's one method. I'll show other methods with Kale or whatever, but that's my current method of obliterating it. Demetha is the extra safety net. 